you welcome back. Now, the Black Stars tipped as pre-tournament favorites, uh, but they suffered a round of 16 exit, dashing the hopes of many football lovers. Now, prior to their departure, uh, the team uh, received calls for their budget to be made public. But that was not done, prompting members of parliament to demand detailed briefings by the sports minister on their return. Now, in a statement on the floor of the House just on Wednesday, sports minister Isaac Isiama said that out of an amount of $6.3 million earmarked for the team's campaign, $4.5 million was spent, uh, leading to a saving of $1.7 million as a result of the 116th exit. Of six million three hundred and sixty five thousand thirty three dollars and eighty four cents was approved for the tournament comprising training tour, main tournament, and related activities. Now, the actual expenditure, Mr. Speaker, emphasis actual expenditure, Mr. Speaker, an amount of four million five hundred sixty four thousand three hundred and fifty two dollars was expended from the training tour to the time Ghana exited from the main tournament. Mr. Speaker, now the breakdown and here the details. Airfare, $924,168. Per diem for players, $187,050. Per diem for technical staff, $129,600. Per diem for additional technical staff, $90,750. Winning bonus for players, $95,405. Winning bonus for technical team, $347,207. Winning bonus for additional technical team, 17700 That's $177,000. Accommodation, and here includes pre tournament camping, and of course, camping facilities. Also, for the, for the playing body, and of course, the main tournament itself for members of the GA fields, some who were there, old players who were there, some of them, Ghana Supporters Union, Ministry officials, journalists, and sports, members of parliament. And that amount is $1,143,509. Medicals, across board, $44,574. Visa fees, $8,541. Internal transportation, $43,092. Incidentals, $42,057. So total is, as I said, four five four six five three five zero. I repeat, four five four five six four three five two. Four million four hundred and six thousand dollars. <laughs> so they keep the difference here. The difference here of six three five million dollars and four, six, four million dollars will return to government chest. That's a difference of one million seven nine dollars will return to government chest. That is the difference. All right, now we want to hear what you think about this, uh, you know, so you can call us. Uh, we'll put the phone number on the screen. It's 0302 or 692, okay? Call us. So let's talk about this budget that the um, sports minister has read out to Parliament. Let's go over some of the details uh, just for your own benefit. Uh, this is what we spent. So uh, our airfare was $924,168, okay? Everything is in dollars. Per diem for the players, $187,050. Per diem for the technical staff, $129,600. Per diem for additional technical staff, $90,750. Winning bonus for the players, um, and we won only once, okay? So that was $965,405, okay? Winning bonus for the players. Winning bonus for the technical team, $177,000. Winning bonus for additional technical staff was $347,000, I believe, before it disappeared from the screen. Now let's talk about accommodation. 
$1,143,519. That's $1,143,519 for accommodation, for feeding, $419,300. Now, uh, let's, let's, let's take a few of your calls. Richard Akwa is calling us from Obwasi. Uh, Richard, good morning. Thanks for your call. Uh, I wonder how all of this uh, strikes you. Good morning, Kodu. Good morning. Uh, it, it, it's very amazing, and uh, I, I don't believe it. Hmm. It looks like we are joking. Why do you Seriously. say that? Seriously, it's like we are joking. It, we are quoting million dollars as if we are coaching 10 Ghana cities. Hmm. I mean, are we serious as a developing country? Can you imagine two people slaying on the trees? Look, I'm a teacher and the problems we are facing in the education sector. <laughs> I don't want to talk much, Kudu. Hmm. I'm really shocked. This million dollars and you spent $4.5 million, and you are bragging. Well, they say we made a saving. They say we saved some money, uh, Richard. I think we may have lost Richard there. Let's see if we can speak to another caller. Nana Kwame Wusu is in Kumasi. Nana Kwame, good morning to you. Hello, Nana Kwame. We lost Nana Kwame as well. Uh, but you can call us, 302 211 or 692. Right, now uh, let me finish off those uh, items. Uh, so feeding was $419,300. And then we bought match tickets. We spent $41,750 on match tickets. Medicals, $44,574. On medicals, so it would be interesting to know what sort of um, medical uh, situations we had, which uh, took us into forty-four thousand dollars. Kingsley in Kansas calls us from Tishi. Kingsley, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mm, tell me what you're thinking. Uh, please, um, I would like to point something out. In fact, um, our leaders are just joking with this country. What I want to say is that um, every staff that was on the team was taking per diem. Now, hello? after taking your per diem, yes, hello. I'm very We're, listening. Ta- We're listening. We're listening. Come again. Please go ahead, Kingsley. Yes, after, after taking the per diem, when the, 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 the only match that they also won, uh, they also received winning bonuses on that. That is what I want to make it clear to all Ghanaians that PFA, uh, minister, whoever, they are joking with this country. Mm. They are joking with our money. And it is a sad situation that we are facing here. So All something right. must be done about it. Thank you very much. Uh, let's All go right. to Cape Coast, where Ramos Ai is on the phone. Good morning, Ramos. Very, very well. Mm. How can you Ramos, can you hear me? It's about 4 point something billion, and you are taking this point something billion. No, that, that is so wrong. Mm. Ramos, uh, we missed the beginning of your your um, uh, your submission there. Would you like to go over that one more time, please? Yeah, I'll, I'll say that the numbers have been looked into well because these are wrong numbers. Because if this is what we spent there, then I think they should even dissolve all the technical and the backstars because they are all not doing well. Why do you feel that way? We are a developing country. We can't spend like this. Mm. So let's take it as if we went ahead in the tournament. Then that means they will add more money to what they took. Seriously. Mm. So it's good Akuman for that penalty. Seriously. It's very, very good. <laughs> well. But if we went ahead in the tournament, oh, I don't know. Maybe we will add another uh, six point something. Well, I sincerely hope not. Okay, thank you for calling us, Ramos, uh, from Cape Coast. And uh, thank you to all of you who have called and uh, shared your thoughts 
on this uh, budget that uh, the sports minister presented to Parliament. Now, he says that we made a saving of over a million dollars. Uh, Copperfield Sosu is in Wa. Copperfield, good morning. It's over, eh? Uh, hello, Copperfield. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's very hard to hear you. Uh, uh, so tell us. What, what good morning, you? Mr. Kojo. Mm. How are you doing? So, so Copperfield, listen. Uh, stop, stop listening to the television. In good fact, morning, Mr. Kojo. Switch Kojuk. off the television or lower the television uh -huh. and just listen to me on the phone, okay? So that we don't have any delay. So, can you hear me on the phone? Hello. All right, Augustine Ryan calls us from Cape Coast as well. Augustine, good morning. Thanks for your call. Yeah, good morning. What's on your mind? On this issue, I'm, I'm just wondering what kind of food and what kind of things that they did over there, which cost $4 million. Hmm. Well, they say they spent some on match tickets, medicals, visa fees, Internal transport, they spent 43000 Are we actually serious as a nation? Well, this was read out in Parliament, so I think uh, the minister is serious about it. And, and what, what about the Parliament itself? How do they look at some of these things when it comes to them? I'm wondering. Mm. Good question. Good question indeed. Thank you for calling us, Augustine. Uh, let's take one more. Hamidu Haruna is in Garu. Hamidu, good morning. Thanks for calling good. us. Good morning. Mm. Mm, please, uh, uh, the way I read from other sources, they said uh, the, the one match we won, the players had a bonus of a sum total of one million. Almost that a million. Means yeah. that, if, that means that if we were to win all the group stage matches, we would have spent another three, two million. And then if we had proceeded, another one million. Mm -hmm. But the minister said uh, the budget was about 6.5. Mm -hmm. That means that if we were to even leave the trophy, we, we would have used the whole budget for the this and the, uh, this and the Ghana, Ghana this and budget for that tournament. Mm. So they should come back and explain things clearly to us. Thank Very you. Well. Okay, that's a good point indeed. Yes, uh, winning bonus was $965,405, almost a million dollars for winning one game. So, yeah, what would have happened if we'd won all our games uh, and our budget was only $6 million. All right, then. Joseph Amano is in Asamankesi. Joseph, you're our last caller. Good morning to you. Good morning. Mm. So your thoughts? Are we, are we serious as a country? Hmm. I, don't think, I don't think we are serious as a country. Because if we can spend all these monies on these various things, then, then, then our leaders are not serious with us in this country at all. So it is high time we look into their faces and we tell them what they are supposed to do for us. So we, the youth in this country, will benefit. Mm. Because I don't understand it. Are they serious? Mm. Uh, is, this, is, this, is this how they are going to spend their own money on their, 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 their children? But Ghana is a football-loving nation. If we had is won, it? would you be, would you still feel the same about how much we spend? Mm. It's, it's, it's very serious. I... I I think they are not daily right with us. Hmm. Well, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, Joseph, um, and our regards to everyone in Asamankese. Thanks to all of you who called us as well. We appreciate your thoughts on this matter. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We're going to bring you showbiz thanks to Awake Purified Water. And uh, the next time you see us in the studio, it'll be Becky standing right here. Don't miss that. It's right after these.